Don't stay too long, Kotsky. Izuku-kun needs to rest. I get it. Go away, old hag. I'll twist your brat mouth off next time. I know that much. <laughs> Ouch! What was that for? So, what's the deal with the Conan stunt? Quark accident? Hmm. How rude! That's the first thing you say after all this time? You're alive and kicking, so you're fine, right? Was he always this intimidating? Did that little wimp get a quirk while he went missing? What the heck did he bring back with him? Oh, it feels kind of weird attending elementary school at my mental age now. So, Kachan, how's the hero course in UA? It's fucking annoying. Everyone's annoying and so are you. Ugh. <laughs> How nice! I want to go there too! Still saying things like that? Get real! You're quirkless! He's a cool! <laughs> How'd you expect to save anyone else? When you can't even save yourself, you'd be a sitting duck on the field. You're right. I don't have a quirk, but I received something similar to one. What was it? You're barely the same kid that got taken that night. <sighs> Honestly, La. Uh... This comic damn slow, I know. Sorry, life's damn ass recently. Sorry also shit some plot holes. What trash. But I'm not done, huh? I'm home! Got here as fast as I could! Which cat did you end up adopting? Oh, I'm so excited to see! Ugh. Her name is Sprinkles. Shoto, when you said cat, I imagined something smaller. <sighs> Bakugo! <laughs> did you bump your head or something? Why are you wearing a suit? Bakugo, I haven't been able to get you off my mind. You're the only one for me, now and forever. Please take these flowers that I picked out just for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? You are! Uh, airhead! Get rid of this illusion right now before I kill you! <laughs> Read from left to right. Cannonball! Kirishima does not know how to swim. What? Slowly. Very slowly. Uh? I think he's dead. Ultimate Wingman. Kachan, you gotta give him CPR. <laughs> Why me? I don't have jack shit to do with this. Kirishima is still in the water. <laughs> I want to kiss him all over his face forever. Me too. Oh god. What happened? Promise me that us both liking Deku won't get in the way or ruin our friendship. I'd die before I let that happen to us. <laughs> Huh? I can do this! Alright, call Deku over here and chat him up. Tell him you like him. You can do this! I could not tell him. Aww. It's your turn. Go speak to Midoriya. How did it go? I whimmed out. That's okay. So did I. Hmm. Melissa and Rody are good, nice people. We should be happy for Deku if he likes them. I know that. But I still feel petty and bitter. Me too. He was blushing at her, and she made him a super cold bracing. I can't do that. I can't do that either. She's winning. It should have been me on that trip with Midoriya, not Rhodey. We need to stop letting him beat foreigners. Throw it, throw it, throw it! Valentine's Day. Oh, wow! You both got me something for Valentine's Day? Thank you so much! And here, I made some friend chocolate for you, too! Friend. Uh, are you both okay? Have either of you noticed Todoroki and Uraraka acting weird around me lately? Perhaps they have fallen ill. Come on. Aren't you supposed to be observant? How are you so stupid? I'm really into internet discourse. But only pointless and stupid internet discourse like how many holes there are in a straw. It's two! No, it's an infinite amount of holes stacked on top of each other. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about! I'm sorry, but mathematically speaking, this question has a single objectively correct answer, which is one whole. This can be very simply proven. A straw and a torus are homotopic, and a torus has one whole. One of my friends is a torus, and he's fine with gay people. I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man, huh? Wanna swing by a cafe later and get to know each other? Oh, uh, well... I'm gonna murder your goofy ass! Watch on. Oh, there you are. I was getting really bored without you. Mm hmm? Yeah, Mikumo. It's time to go back, Kachan. Carnage is getting restless. Kachan, I said it's time to go. Hot. Mm -hmm. Ah, finally. I really gotta be more careful. 
Comments make it look so much easier than it actually is. False advertising. Do I even have enough materials to repair this? Uh... <coughs> Are you seriously doing your homework last minute? I'm sorry, Kachan. I fell asleep before I could write my notes. But I promise to get it done before class starts. You better. I'm not about to fail this class just because Professor Ibax paired me with a lazy-ass nerd like you. I'm not lazy. I was just really tired doing uh, other assignments. Just get it done or you're dead. Y yes, Kachan. Left Deku a note. Took off Deku's glasses for him. Kachan's jacket. Spent all night saving people. <sighs> Stupid Deku. Probably spent all night reading comics or something like he used to. You alright, Ka Katsuki? Uh, holy fuck. Learn to ask for help, short ass. <sighs> Damn, nerd. It's hot as balls today. Drink something before you dehydrate. <sighs> wow, Kachan. Your arms are so big. A fucking course, nerd. I work out a lot. That's amazing, Kachan. <laughs> Touch. <laughs> so the kiss meant nothing to you? It was a mere kiss. Don't fool yourself. I know nothing of love. <sighs> you know nothing of love? Then why kiss me like you do, my king? I hate the scars that adorn my skin. Then let me love them for you. I would burn the world for you if it meant keeping you by my side. Then set yourself ablaze, my king. You speak of hatred. Yet your lips taste of love. Oi, Angel, the fuck are you reading? Go watch Good Omens, please. I need season three. I'll tell you if you stop making yourself taller than you actually are. Meeting's done with. Looney, hon, can I get your help in my office for a little bit? Ugh, fine. Moxie, why'd you close the door? Moxie, you're being so assertive. Oh, Moxie. That was, that was the best meeting so far. What came over you, Mox? I found the letter you left for me. How could I say no? Mox, uh, I didn't write this. What? But, but then who did? I don't get this game. You just make the two fuck? Why? It's not about the fucking loony. It's about how I get them to fuck. Alright, how do I look? Oh, you look wicked. I hope I'm not stretching out your dress. Hush now. You look phenomenal. <laughs> Thanks. All right, now you try my stuff. All uh, right, sure. Damn, I bet the nerds are gonna love this. Hey, you done changing yet? Y yeah Whoa, look at this sexy mama. How do you like it? I... I... I feel so exposed! It's so revealing! How does this even stay on you? It's not because you can't afford any more fabric, is it? Give me the number of your seamstress. I can buy you sleeves, as many sleeves as you want! What the fuck is a seamstress? Knock knock, dear. Would you be interested in going with daddy to... Scandalous attire? Heavy breathing? Intrusive proximity? Oh, my dear Octavia has finally been stricken by the hormones! Dad, no, stop! And this lovely stranger must be your gay female lover. What the fuck, Dad? Oh, oh yeah, we're lovers, all right. Been hooking up every day. What? Wait, that's not... And she calls me mommy, too. That's not true! <gasps> She's just like her father! Oh my god, I hate you both. Oh, for Luna! Yeah? Did you seriously waste money to ship this shirt to me? What, do you need an exchange? Is it too small? <sighs> just what is with your fixation on my body weight? I'm clearly not fat! Careful there, Mox. I can hear your heart struggling not to give out. If you put even half of this energy into your job, maybe this place wouldn't be such a nightmare. You have a serious attitude problem. What, is it too difficult to even pretend to be qualified? Well, at this rate, you'll amount to nothing. It's a wonder how you're still here. Moxie, you just fuck off already. Ooh, this is so exciting, Blitzy. What is this place? Well, you asked me about my favorite place in the Pride Ring, so I figured I'd just bring you here. Oh! Oh, Blitzy, I'm... I'm honored. Now grab onto my tail and don't let go no matter how hard I pull. Oh my! Uh, out here in the open? They used to have a windowsill, but now I'm reduced to this fuckery. Am I doing this right? I'm sorry, but... What is this for? For the view? <laughs> it's just a bed. Okay? Duh. 
<sighs> Dude! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's keep going, all right? <laughs> Boom, Midoriya, you're on fire, man. Come on, dude, give him a kiss now. I'll take truth. Boo! I'm leaving. Dude. 2235, 1203, 140. <gasps> what are you smiling at, nerd? Kanchan, you scared me. What are you doing here? I mean, it's late. Got thirsty. What about you? Me? Yeah, what are you doing here alone? Smiling like a psychopath. I couldn't sleep. I see. Hmm. Kachan, I'm sorry if it was too much. You know, um, us before. I let myself go. What does that mean? Just forget it, okay? I'm sorry. No. What? does that mean? Uh, gosh... Shut up. <laughs> really happy for you losers, but can you please take this somewhere else where I don't have to watch it? FUCK YOU, BIRD BRAIN! Mine! Uh, bye! You are next. <gasps> Izuku, it's okay! I'm here. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Gosh, on you were... I know. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Deku, you need a haircut. You look like a swamp. Mm. I think he looks cute. Yeah, like that's new, round face. You're the one to talk. Oi, dynamite! It's great explosion murderer god dynamite, you dunce face! What's that? My hero name. What? <laughs> Fucking <Fuck> Deku! <laughs> Realizes he hasn't heard Deku's laugh in a long time. Go die, shitty nerd! <laughs> I like you, Kachan! Dick. Wait! Before you retract me, I just want you to know that I don't want this to change anything between us. That I just wanted to clear this up, because you've been so nice to me lately, and I don't want to get the wrong idea! I know I overthink a lot, and I'm probably reading too much into this, but lately you've been treating me differently, but a good different. Like you've been more attentive and more open about caring, even though you say you're not. We've been hanging out more often, I keep thinking you're sending me these signals, and you can't blame me for that one. I've liked you for a while. Well, I used to like you when we were kids, I think. I think I admired you at least, but I started believing attracted to you when we were getting older, when we grew older. I'm pretty sure you're my first ever crush before I even realized I was bi. It was a confusing time, honestly. I'm still figuring a lot of stuff out. And you acting like all sweet hasn't been helping. I thought it was over you when you started bullying me, and then the move happened, and I guess we both moved on. But we are again, back in my life! And the rest, I just want to be friends, and you changed a lot! You matured more! I'm really proud of that, and maybe we could put our past behind us and be friends like when we were kids. But the more I hung out with you, it started, but I didn't want them to! I liked what it ends stuff, I didn't want that to change! And I still suddenly treated me all I don't know! But it was different, and started to get the false hope, and maybe you had a shot! But the more I thought about, the more I jumping to conclusions! I've been under attracted to guys getting a little dates just because they felt sorry for liking you, because that's how I got crybaby Deku who's gonna hide, hide anymore. I want you to know it for you, regardless of it, you feel the same way or not, to know that you can't keep playing with my heart like this and feel the same way. I'm mature enough to know that you have me back. I just need you to know about this and maybe we're cults. Be adults. It'll help. Deku! Uh -uh. Shut up for a second and just calm down, will ya? This is a lot to take in. Let me just take you home, we can talk about this. I'm done ignoring this conversation. Get home safe, Kalchan! Don't tell me what to do, nerd! <laughs> Bye! Quick! Pull yourself together, Izuku. You said you wouldn't cry. This is so awkward. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Maybe a part of me likes to hang with you, who knows? But the guy I'm really into, I call him Kalchan. <laughs> Fuck around and find out, Kalchan. My spider sense is detecting a little bitch. Oh, what a coincidence. So is my asshole. You know I have super healing, right? Does it still hurt? Yeah. Then let me ease the pain. God, you're so pretty when you care. Just shut up and hold still. Oh god, oh god, me and Kachan are lab partners! The fuck is that face? Put that away! We aren't going to cut them down like lawnmowers. Relax, I won't hit any major arteries. Just a quick slice to the neck. There are arteries in the neck. And I have good aim. No! Where is she? Who? Mo. Me? The pretty Mo. Hey, Mo. Is she looking? Not anymore.
Bakugo, you look so manly in your new stealth suit. Now you just need a super cool and manly pose to go with it. This is the coolest and manliest pose that I know of. Mm, swooning. Stop looking at me so mushy. Mm. Hey, Bakugo, do you think you can push me in your cart next? No, I'm not wheeling you morons around. Then why does Kirin get to sit inside? Quit asking questions before I blow your head off your body! It's because I called dibs on the way here. <laughs> Can I have a little kiss, please? Quit being so clingy, jeez. <sniffs> please refrain from PDA in the common room. <sniffs> Don't ever tell me what to do, Four Eyes! <sniffs> okay, then. Do you think we'll interact this week? Probably. Or probably not. Maybe next week. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, uh, guys, how about me? What are you doing? Nothing. OMG! Let's be plus ultra together! My love, how I've missed you. Kirishima, you're like an uncracked pistachio. Yeah? Unbreakable. Huh? It's times like this that Denki wishes he hadn't passed the entrance exam. <laughs> Kirishima, why are you staring at me like that? I have to ask Bakugo out right now! I can't wait anymore! Will you go out with me tomorrow? What time do you want to go? At 7pm, if that's alright. Yeah, I'll go with you. Oh my gosh, I scored a date! Bakugo's my boyfriend! Oh cool, we haven't hung out together. Hey! Which one of you morons shot me? I'll kill you! You're a deer. Shooting you is the whole point of the game. <laughs> Whoever you are, go ahead, shoot me. You can't make today any suckier. You're a hunter, I'm a deer. Slight food chain issue with me shooting you. Also, we're on the same team. Kirishima, give me your paintball gun now so I can end this nerd. Chill, dude. Kachan, we're both deers. That's not how this challenge works. And the final marshmallow goes to... Mm -hmm. Hey, dude, nice job out there. Yeah, whatever. Seriously, you look so awesome and manly during your match, Bakugo. Mm -hmm. You all right, bro? You try to kill me or something? Back off! Guys, I think Bakugo's mad at me. Bakugo's always mad. Plus, it looks like he's sick. Yeah, kind of like he's holding back a huge sneeze. Inside the bag. Rainbow Dash costume, 12 plus. I'm not wearing this. Oh, yes you are! This is a group costume! Please, he's just jealous that I got the best outfit. Kami, put your skirt down! Hello, I hope you're enjoying your meal so far. Oh, absolutely. Please send compliments to the chef. Sure thing. Chef Bakugo? What? You are so handsome and manly that it makes me dizzy. Ugh. Get out of my kitchen right now! <laughs> Ta-da! That's the life story of Kimiko Yokishimana. I appreciate that you're comfortable enough to share this with me. Although I find it interesting that your hair changed color. It seems that your body developed a physical response to the repressed trauma you withheld. Such specific parts of your life that were so severe, it must have triggered the pigment. Just how much stress did you endure, Yokoshimana? <laughs> I managed, you know? Well, after the whole warehouse thing. I feel free, finally stepping up from everything. How come you don't look panicked, Sensei? I must be causing you a lot of trouble by helping me and the twins. <laughs> Adventure! Nonsense, we've grown fond of you and Los Niños, Chulos. Focus on your improvement and employment and rely on my darling and I for the rest. Freak show. Sounds a bit mysterious there. <laughs> Say, what does your darling do, Sensei? Hey, isn't that enough work down for the day? You've located the father, hidden her current location, and managed to restrict officials of the records. Come on, dear cousin. Your pretty lady knows you've got it covered. Have a drink. I'll prepare it for you now. Close the laptop already. Oh, sleepy. How the hell did it all go down to crap? I'm at a school learning to be a hero and I do nothing? What the hell is wrong with you, Kira? Absolutely not. Go away somewhere. Come back when you reflect on such absurdity you've caused our family. At least in the countryside, I won't have to deal with Mother's disappointment of me. School finished for the year, so that's out of the way. <sighs> this is so damn frustrating. I let myself get trapped. Maybe I should just drop out. It wasn't even my wish to go to begin with. Huh? <laughs> She's gorgeous. How can she be so... <laughs> what? There's no what? 
After I sub for this round one of you have to do it next. She's gorgeous. Oh, I forgot sunscreen. Your tail's wagging. Kalia, B, I don't have the patience to deal with teammates in this heat. And Mono's too busy gawking on your pupil. Oh, but you got the time to call me out? Come on, Sensei, let me have this ace! Ace, ace! My teammates won't be happy if I make it easy for you. You let the kids do that to you? Giovanni, fuck! It's dancing! It's dancing! You let your Hotaru be bird bait? <laughs> Otis, wee! Gin. You cool light tone sour batch bitch! Fuck off, I'll drown you right now! <laughs> shatter, shatter. <laughs> Yoko, the twins. Ice cream orders? Gio's buying. Everything on the menu, please. <laughs> Targets acquired, weapons loaded. Previously, a few weeks ago, give or take, a most devious occurrence, er, occurred. Oh, hi, Ida, what's up? <laughs> I've been watching you. It's Saturday night and I know you're alone. Do you like scary movies, Mr. Parker? Alright, who is this? How did you get Ida's number? What horrible things do you want from Peter? Wait, is this Deku? It's me, Felicia, from school. Sorry, wrong number. I'm using Ida's phone. He, uh, dropped it and I'm going to return it to him. I also wanted to bother Spider before giving it back. I'm actually having a sleepover right now, and I'd love to invite him, but he's still being punished. Yeah, I heard Felicia's not boyfriend and Gadget Girl blew up a part of the school, and now to clean up the mess. You're lucky, Felicia. You got to bring your cat with you. The place I'm staying at doesn't allow pets. Oh, well, Ida will be happy to get his phone back, I guess. But maybe pranks like this are important to- Hello? Hello? <laughs> It's Saturday night, and I know you're alone. So, Mr. Parker, do you? Felicia, stop stealing people's phones. Uh, well, Isaku, do you have any wishes for the new year? I know things have been rough, but a new year always means a fresh start. Um, I don't know. I guess some new friends are a good thing to hope for. It's not like I could ask for what I really want. A quirk to magically appear. But maybe... It'd be nice to meet someone who feels like I do. Someone who wouldn't laugh at my impossible dream. Lousy Mysterio making me stay out here to foil his dumb plans. I could have been home with Toonami's new lineup. Yeah, but when do I ever get what I want? Someone's gotta stop him. <sighs> Being Spider-Man's a lonely job. It'd also be nice to be able to do this and not be arrested. It'd be nice to find someone who gets me, you know? Not just another person who's booing me off the city streets. And so it was. Two boys chasing after similar dreams, bearing the heavy burden placed upon them. Fated to be separated forever by alternate worlds. And yet, what if? What if these two boys could coexist in a reality more fantastical than either could have imagined, separated only by a humble ocean? What if, in this new reality, the future symbol of peace and an amazing child born of science could forge a bond strong enough to withstand the greatest of trials? Two boys, two worlds, now one destiny. Enough said. Alex draws again after Horikashi and Dikko. I wonder what's wrong with my heart that it beats so fast sometimes. There it goes again. Hey! Can't wait to come home to you. Did you forget we work at the same place? Aw, oh, babe. I was talking to the bed. Is, is there something wrong, Sensei? This is the only thing I could think of that logically keeps you out of trouble. When are you going to give up, Aizawa? Just marry me already. When will you stop asking me that? When you say yes? Hmm. You old fool. I said yes 40 years ago. I see. It must have been such a blessed life that I'd want to do it with you all over again. <sighs> My angel was so cute when he was little. I wonder what happened. Your genes kicked in. How rude. Bakugo, do you know where the mother bear and her cubs live? The cave, right? Yes, go play there. Okay. <laughs> oh, Isawa! No, no matter how strong Katsuki is, he won't be able to handle an adult bear! Toshi, just now. Did you think I was sending the kids to fight bears? W well... I win! Isawa, I've seen how you train your students. And I have a few notes. You are too soft on them, and I would know. After all, I did train Shoto. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? 
The following content contains sensitive themes that aren't suited for all audiences. By viewing the following content, you declare that it was by your own choice and the artist cannot be prosecuted. You have been warned. Trigger warning, abuse, blood. <coughs> May I come in? <coughs> A, let him in. B, quickly close and lock the door. <coughs> 